All right, people, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Q file for your bin or ISO image. Now, I'm going to show you guys an example of what an ISO image looks like. All right, there's an ISO. As a matter of fact, my ripped Final Fantasy Tactics ISO, is, or ISO image is right there. It's a disk image file. And here's what a bin file looks like. It's going to have bin file written right in the type. Now both of these files should be very, very large. I would say around 200,000 plus kilobytes depending on how large your how large the game is. As you can see, Final Fantasy Tactics is almost fucking 540,000 kilobytes, but all right, what we're going to do is you're going to go to Notepad. Now keep in mind this tutorial is for newbies. This is not for people who understand what they're doing, so don't leave me piss off comments saying I talk too much and I'm explaining it too much. I'm trying to keep this as step to step as possible. Now this form right here, I'm going to leave you a f little link in the description that leads you to a place where if you search you should be able to find something that allows you to copy paste this. Now you're going to want to keep this general shape. I'm leaving this up here for reference for the video. This mode 2 here is to... Mode 2 allows you to burn the disc and then play it on a P PlayStation console. Mode 1 would be for PS or for PCs. Now, uh, as you can see, I already have my stuff all figured out and all written out and everything. What you're going to want to do is you got to keep the quotations. You got to keep your spaces, binary, track, etc. And you're going to go to save as, not save. And you're going to ignore this field for right now. And you're going to go down to all files. This is not a text document. And then you're going to write at the end of whatever name. You can name this whatever. I would suggest naming it the same name as the bin file without, the, without any file extension after it. So in this case, mine would be Crash Bandicoot 3. And you're going to write dot Q. And that's going to tell the computer to recognize it as a Q file. Now, I'm not going to save it, obviously, because I already did this, but you should save it, obviously. And what you're going to want to avoid is separating the folders that you put these in because it creates an amount of confusion when you're looking, you have to go looking for files. Now, if you want to check to make sure that this actually works, what you can do is you go to PSX or whatever emulator that you use. EPSXE also works. And you're going to double click on this. You're going to let your system load up, obviously. And then you're going to insert the bin or image file that you did the Q file for. All right. And see this over here, this dialog box? This is basically like MS-DOS for those of you who are used to the old disk operating system. This means blank right here that there was no errors. Now, if you didn't have a Q file, it would say something else. It would have some form of error in here. Now, I can't tell you exactly what the error would be because it's not the same for everything. All right, now I'm going to show you what it looks like if it has an error. I'm going to load up your system again. And you're, I'm going to show you here. See this? No .q file found. We'll attempt to guess form on assuming single track. Q bin seems to be mod too. This right here, if you get this after you do your quin after you do your Q file, that means you did something wrong. And that you shouldn't burn your file yet. This is very, very handy for saving you CDRs, which can be very expensive. Now remember when you burn a disc, a PlayStation game especially, do not burn it on a CDRW because they are too thick for the laser to read. Alright, there you go. I got your guys a tutorial and I hope you guys can figure it out and I hope you have fun playing your games as long as they're legal. And not support piracy. Anyway, have fun. Thanks to you all, and thanks to Sony for making a great system.